Hello YouTube, I'm gonna tell you how to mod your Castle Crashers. That us, uh, it looks like mine, and here's my example on my profile. Some of them don't say that they, cause like right here, and like those things, and the health, they, they won't say they're high because like that one, that one's 25 and have a lot of stuff, but they, as you can see, they all have level 99, so that means they're all gonna have those little level up bars. So don't be scared. Alright, first thing you're gonna do is download the thing, the programs in the description, which is gonna be Modio, and my, and this Castle Crashers modding program. First, you're gonna need to get a USB thumb drive, plug it in your Xbox, configure it, and then move your profile, or first move Castle Crashers, the game, just move it onto that, push onto the thumb drive, and then push Y on it, just when you're going to select the device, when you go to system settings for memory, and then you just push Y while hovering over the USB, clear system cache with, the ca with only the Castle Crashers game actually on it, and that removes the patches on it. So that means there's going to be all the glitches and stuff. And so, then you go to the, um, to back to the, your hard drive, move your profile you want modded. But you have to have played the game at least, like, one, the first level or something. And then you move it onto the flash drive. And then once that's been moved, you take the USB out, plug it in your computer. And then open up Modio, extract your profile. You put, you click on the extract profile. You don't need it to create uh, an account or anything, but you just go on, click extract profile. Then you go to the top left-hand corner where it says open slash close. You click on it and you click on open, open, and then. You keep cl clicking the the thing on the left. You keep clicking that a bunch of times until it won't click anymore. And then, once it won't click anymore, you just drag it on your desktop. You can close that off, but leave the Modio program actually open. That like the actual Modio part of it. And then you open up the Castle Crashers modding. Tool, click on open, and then click. Then you go to your desktop, and then you click on your profile, which is gonna be like some numbers and letters. But just remember what which one it was. And then you click on all the stuff you want. Click how much gold you want. I recommend set the number you have as two, and then the rest zeros. So that, because once you have a high enough number, like the number right there, for every character, for me, that's a negative number because it gets so high, eventually goes negative. It does the same with your gold, so then you'll have negative gold and you won't be able to buy anything. So you're going to want that at 2, and then the rest zeros right there. And then, once you've maxed out all the stuff you want, and... Your XP doesn't matter because you're already level 99 and your XP just doesn't matter. And you can click on have all the characters unlock. Well, per character, once you scroll through the characters, you check off the ones you want unlocked. And then you can also check off if you want all the weapons unlocked. And then after you customize every single character individually, every time you have to push save. And once you customize your gold, you push the big save at the bottom, and for every character, you push the save right above that. And then after you have all your stuff for every character you want modded, you just go to the top left-hand corner again, open, and then you go down to open slot open, or you go to scroll down to close slash save. Click on that, and it'll close it out. But then. You, but then that all that data is saved onto your profile that's on your desktop. So then you X that off, and then you go back to your Mario. Then you click on Open a Save, and then you click 
your profile, which is the numbers and letters again, and then you open that, click on Rehash and Resign, and that kind of that tells your Xbox because if you don't do that, your Xbox can detect if it if something's like modded on it. So you click that, so that it knows it's not nothing is modded. Or it'll, it'll it won't detect anything. That's all it pretty much does. It says to your Xbox and everything's fine. So then you click on right after you do that. You click on save to device at the top right of the little window that has your gamer picture and stuff. And then you go to, or you can just X that off, and then you can X off all the all the windows and stuff. You can click off, you can delete your profile that's on your desktop then because you're your new like modded profile is now saved onto your USB but also if you make a mistake you're gonna wanna make a copy first of your profile so once you drag it onto your desktop right click on it and just make a copy and then so you have it on your USB you can unplug it plug it in your Xbox move the game and your profile back over to the hard drive and then you go play the game Go to the game, and just to be safe to see if it worked, you don't download the update. When it says, do you want to download the update? Hey, and if you don't, you'll be disconnected from Xbox Live. You just press cancel, and then you go onto a character. And if it's not modded, then you did something wrong. And if you did it right, you should have just as much gold as I have. And right there... I have you'll get the golden whale once you get online too and you'll have all the XP and the health and level 99 and 25 25 25 25 and then once you play around with a character on, on offline by yourself you go back to the dashboard which you'll be reconnected to Xbox Live and then you go back to the game and se except this time download the update and then if it, if you did it right, you should be able be able to go online, and it'll say if you active if you chose to have a gold skull or silver skull, you that you'll have the silver skull for the characters you selected, or the gold skull for the characters you selected, and it'll say level 99. And then once you choose it, it'll come up with a screen to add your points to that that you have that you can put on to your agility and attack and defense and magic and then you just select all of them if you want you can do those anytime and then that's pretty much it so this is Kelsey and good luck